Today, we'll be looking at the Incident Communications module and the additional capabilities above and beyond the Mass Notification module. Let's look at how to launch a message using Incident Communications. In this demo, we'll look at using both the Everbridge mobile application and the Manager web interface. At the end, we will show how Incident Communication templates are created and the settings available to customize them. Unlike the Mass Notification module, Incident Communications is very form-driven and structured. Here on the screen, I am showing the Manage Bridge application that can send incident communication messages out via a smartphone. We start the process by clicking on New Incident. This gives us a list of the different categories or folders that we have our incident communication messages stored in. We'll select an incident from the Weather folder. Each folder contains multiple templates. We are communicating with employees in this incident, and we'll select the Employees Focus template. What we're going to see is a form, or variables, that need to be input. These are the details regarding this specific event. The simplified incident workflow uses single select dropdowns, open-ended text areas, and auto-populated date and time fields. It also has the ability for multiple selection lists. For our users, this is a much more structured process that allows them to capture the specific details around an event that's occurring as opposed to relying on more of a generic static notification. Once the form is complete, click Next in the top right corner. That's going to build the message based on the values that I've selected in the form. Now, we'll take a look at how that incident communication message was created and how the framework of the message was already built. All that's needed to be completed was to fill out the form with the appropriate details. To complete the workflow, I click Send in the top right hand corner. You can see that I've already received the push notification message, and there's the SMS text message as well. One of the great things about ManageBridge is that it also gives you the ability to monitor results. So, with that two-way communication and confirmation requirement, we can see who has not responded. We also can see who already has responded, and we can call out any people that might be unreachable due to incorrect contact data that we might have. Here, we will confirm the message so that it stops trying to contact me. Now let's take a look at how this workflow and template are created. One of the benefits of incident communications is that the simpler workflow will help reduce errors because of missing information or recipients. Incident communications is more efficient and will also speed up how quickly teams can send out messages. Let's take a look at the web interface that you see here. So what we're going to do is take a look at a number of different templates. First, let's look at the template we just used, the hurricane warning. It's going to show us the form that we filled out, as well as the outgoing message that is dynamically built using the form variables in the brackets. That's important because that's where the value will get placed into the message once we fill out the form. Now this form is 100% user-defined. Users can create the variables just as they can create the possible requirements or choices for them users have a lot of flexibility in terms of what they can do. Let's look at how to launch this template from the web interface. The workflow is very similar to what you saw on the mobile application. You navigate down into the hurricane warning template for employees. Then fill out the form and send. Another big benefit of incident communications is that the powerful rules engine reduces the number of templates you have to manage. The reason here is that because each template includes logic in the background that says, based on what values get selected in the form, we can route the message to different people. A very common approach that we see is to create an office location variable where, depending on what office location is impacted during a critical event, we want the message to be routed to just those employees. In the case here, if I select Fort Worth, we can build it in the template that says, if Fort Worth is selected, then send it to my Fort Worth employees. or if Oklahoma is selected, then send it to my Oklahoma employees, and so on and so forth. Using incident communication templates provides a much more structured workflow and a more efficient process, which reduces errors and missed recipients. The person that is actually dispatching the notification doesn't really need to be concerned about how the message should be constructed, or what information to include, or who to send it to. All they really need to do is fill out the form to the best of their ability, and incident communications takes care of the rest.